From a close call with tapioca to an environmental catastrophe, this is what happens when food destroys nature. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 8. Tapioca Time Bomb in 1972, a Swiss freighter called Casaret almost turned into a tapioca time bomb at Cardiff Bay. While at sea, the timber from the freighter's upper hold caught fire. For many days, the crew tried to put out the blaze, but Casaret was ultimately forced to make an emergency stop in the Welsh Bay. At the time, it was carrying 1,500 tons of Thai tapioca. Firefighters arrived on boats and managed to control the blaze before it destroyed the ship. However, the water used to extinguish the fire got to the cargo hold. The combination of water and the heat from the fire cooked the tapioca into what was probably the world's largest pudding. The entire ship basically turned into a giant steam oven. As the boiling mixture swelled and expanded, it threatened to burst the freighter's steel plating. Fortunately, the situation was contained before the sticky mess could destroy the ship. The only thing left to do was to dispose of the giant mass of pudding, which was reportedly enough to fill 500 trucks. Number 7. Norwegian Tunnel Fire In January 2013, Norwegian authorities had to close a tunnel and two miles of road due to a raging fire. It originated from a truck carrying a flammable food item. Upon seeing that his truck had caught fire, the driver abandoned it about 1,000 feet from the tunnel's sudden entrance. The tunnel burned for five days and smoldering toxic gases slowed down the recovery operation. Emergency services couldn't go in until it was safe. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the noxious gases fumes released in the air meant the tunnel would remain closed off for several weeks. Before we move on, it's time for our quiz question. What was the truck carrying that made it burst into flames so violently? Was it A. Goat cheese B. Alcohol-based sauces C. Flour D. Cooking oil Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 6. London Beer Flood To some, a raging river of beer might sound like the ideal scenario. However, for the people of one London neighborhood, it was nothing of the sort. The London Beer Flood took place on October the 17th, 1814. A giant vat containing over 135,000 gallons of beer ruptured at the Moen Company Brewery in Tottenham Court Road. It triggered a domino effect in the brewery and other vats ruptured as well. A wave consisting of over 323,000 gallons of beer rushed through the streets. It destroyed several homes and brought down the wall of a pub called Tavistock Arms. Eight people lost their lives in the flood and many others were injured. The judge and jury ruled the incident as an act of God, so no responsible parties ever emerged. Number 5. Boston Molasses Disaster If you're unfamiliar with molasses, all you really need to know is that it's a type of viscous syrup derived from refining sugar beets or sugar cane. Also known as black treacle, it's primarily used for flavoring and sweetening foods. On January the 15th, 1919, in Boston's North End neighborhood, a large storage tank burst and a devastating wave of molasses swept through the streets. The incident was a combination of structural defects in the tank and unseasonably warm temperatures, which caused pressure to build up inside. 2.3 million gallons of molasses rushed through the neighborhood at an estimated speed of 35 miles per hour. 21 people lost their lives and at least 150 others were injured. The dead were so glazed over in molasses that they were almost unrecognizable. Some were crushed or drowned by the wave and the debris it carried. Others were trapped as the substance became viscous, making rescue efforts even harder. Boston residents claimed that even decades later on warm summer days, the area still smelled of molasses. 
Needless to say, the air quality in the incident's immediate aftermath was greatly diminished. Number 4. Methane from Cows Methane is a chemical component and the main constituent of natural gas. It has been proven to be much more dangerous for the environment than carbon dioxide. That's because its heat-trapping capabilities are roughly 20 times greater, hence it becomes a major contributor to global warming. Although less prevalent in the atmosphere, methane has been described as the most destructive greenhouse gas component. According to scientific reports, a significant portion of methane pollution comes from cows, which release it into the atmosphere as part of their biological processes. It's generated by microbes that are involved in the cow's digestion, some of which produce methane as a byproduct. There are approximately 2 billion cows in farms all over the world. They're a major source of food for humanity, whether it's in the form of beef or dairy products. This means that through the demand for cow products and the consequential farming efforts, we're actively harming the environment. It's a prime example of the destructive effect food can have on nature. However, there are ways of combating it that don't necessarily involve changing our lifestyle. One significant method is changing the cow's diet to include probiotics, which greatly reduce their methane production. Number 3. Food Waste Food waste occurs all over the world. It happens with retailers when they oversupply or reject food based on their standards of quality and aesthetics. It also happens with people preparing too much and end up throwing away food. The impact on the environment in certain cases is fairly obvious. The processing, transportation, storing and preparation of food take energy and natural resources. When food is wasted, the impact on the environment would have been for nothing. Converting wild lands into agricultural sites has been affecting the world's biodiversity for many years. Yet, according to recent food usage statistics, millions of acres are dedicated to food that we'll never consume. Discarded food also ends up in landfills, where it generates large amounts of methane which, as previously discussed, is very dangerous for the environment. So, what were the flammable contents of the Norwegian truck? Believe it or not, it was A, goat cheese. The caramelized brown dairy product is called Bronost and it's a delicacy in Norway. The truck was carrying about 27 tons of Bronost, which, because of its high content of fat and sugar, is quite flammable. Many were surprised by how a tunnel inferno could come from something as unthreatening as goat cheese. Even a Norwegian Public Roads Administration official was quoted as saying, I didn't know that brown cheese burned so well. Number 2. Basra Mass Poisoning The 1971 Iraq poison grain disaster is among the worst instances of mercury poisoning in history. Bags of grain treated with methyl mercury fungicide were imported in Iraq from Mexico and the US to be used as seed grain. Drought had affected the harvest of 1969. Saddam Hussein, who was the second most powerful man in the country at the time, decided to import mercury-coated seed grain for the 1971 season. Over 100,000 tons of the grain were shipped to Basra that fall. However, distribution of the grain started after the farmers had already planted their seed. The labels on the bag were either in English or Spanish, or they displayed the skull and bone symbol, none of which the locals understood. This combination of factors led to them ingesting the grain, mainly through the consumption of homemade bread. Thousands were hospitalized with mercury poisoning and an estimated 459 people lost their lives, although it's been suggested the death toll might have been 10 times greater. Since methylmercury can be passed on in the womb, newborns were affected as well. There may have been as many as 100,000 subsequent cases of brain damage. It got so bad that the Iraqi army ordered disposal of the grain and declared capital punishment for anyone who sold it. Aside from the numerous human casualties, the environment was also affected. The soil was contaminated with mercury, as were the rivers and lakes. Number 1. Honolulu Harbor Molasses Spill For more than three decades, a company in Maui produced molasses out of sugarcane, which was then shipped to the mainland for processing. In September 2013, a faulty pipe led to the spilling of 
1,400 tons of the viscous substance into the Honolulu Harbor. Since there wasn't any contingency plan for dealing with the spill, the only hope was that the natural currents would eventually flush the substance out of the water. The spill proved catastrophic for the marine wildlife in the harbor and a nearby lagoon. The molasses sank to the sea floor and caused massive deoxygenation, which led to death by suffocation of over 26,000 fish and other marine species. A shipping company called Matson Navigation took responsibility for the spill and eventually settled to pay $15.4 million to the state of Hawaii. Given that such spills are next to impossible to clean up, tighter preventative measures were put in place. A new order was issued which required companies pumping products through port pipelines to undergo regular inspections and to have spill response plans put in place. Thanks for watching. Which of these food-related disasters shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section below.